Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see about the SSL pinning in iOS. So you see, uh, like SSL pinning plays a very important role in an iOS development. So like uh, we, we always uh, predict like if any web service URL that has an HTTPS means we, we say like uh, the URL is safe, but that's not so. Even though the uh, API URL is having the uh, secure socket layer that is HTTPS, still the attacker can able to get the value from the API. So like in iOS, 90% uh, of jobs are done through the help of API only. Only 10% of developers are using the local database. So like API plays a very important role. So in that API, we need to give a very uh, important uh, uh, eyesight on the APIs and we need to uh, make sure that don't uh, any breaches that has been happening in the API. So that's a very important thing. So you see like uh, there are two different types of uh, requests that can be made. One is like HTTP and another one is HTTPS. So as a developer, as a perspective like uh, we have like the API which is having an HTTPS is uh, very secure and the hacker cannot be uh, hack that particular API like that we thought but it is wrong but hacker can do something differently that is called man in middle attack so you see in this uh, screen you can see an uh, uh, image for the representation of the man in middle uh, attacks works so like consider this is a user which is uh, our a, a mobile app and here is having we have a server so whenever we we kept an uh, request of https our server will send having an uh, private key of the mobile and the mobile is having a public key so whenever the transaction is happening between the web and mobile there will be an uh, a public key and private key with the help of the key they will check whether the api is coming from the uh, secure one or not but in some times like a hacker can do in the middle and he is just can change the request which is coming from the server and he can able to see what is the request coming from the user and he can able to manipulate it and send the new connections to the server so in this way a man in middle care attack can be happening so this is actually a security breach which uh, we need which we need to uh, understand so that's the uh, first thing which we need to understand like uh, man in the middle can uh, able to see the information by sending a fake certificates to the uh, mobile or web and you can able to retrieve the data from the api call so uh, like this thing not only like api call the whatever things which is uh, uh, happening communication between the server and the client we can take it in that way so that's it so how we can prevent this so like we have a security breach that everyone knows now so how we can prevent this yes this can be prevent uh, with the help of uh, ssl pinning yes you, you can you have heard this word like ssl pinning the process of attaching the certificate into the bundle or the process of attaching the public key into the bundle or pinning it's called ssl pinning uh, that's the thing so like the SSL pinning can be uh, done with the two different uh, types. One is using an SSL pinning through certificate and another one is using SSL pinning to the public key. So let's say like first we can see about SSL pinning through certificate. So for that let me go into the uh, app which I have created already. So you see like uh, I, I don't want to waste the time in the part of coding section because you know very well about that. So I just want to get into the deeper of the explanation section. So let's uh, go and dig it out. Uh, so this is the projects which I have created. So in that uh, I have in the view controller I have called the function called do api call using uh, SSL pinning. Okay. Okay, yes, uh, I just changed the name. Do API call using SSL pinning. So here is like I'm just passing the URL for the request and uh, I'm having a shared service manager which has a uh, shared uh, manager which is going to call the API which I'm going to call. So this is actually a get service call. I just want to make it very simple so I have used the get service call. So in this uh, manager you see i'm just getting an uh, url and uh, after finishing the work i'm just uh, doing with the completion handler 
so with the help of the session data task i am just configuring the url session as like this so in this like you can see like uh, url session is having something different uh, while comparing to the usual one this is actually having a configuration of mprl and delegate equal to self and uh, delegate queue equal to nil so this is actually something different which you uh, need to notice when we are performing an ssl pinning so the reason why i am doing is like i am just having an uh, uh, delegate method to do the ssl pinning that's why i have a delegate over here so that's the thing like this is having a session uh, session which is going to do an uh, delegate task and uh, going to return whether data or response or error so this is something similar which we uh, do usually so in the data in the error part i am just displaying the error in the if the data is appearing means i am just returning the data and just say saying a response as public key pinning is successful and in the dispatch i am just giving that particular dispatch which is happening in the main thread so that's the thing it is very uh, uh, easy understanding that's doing very normal things let's comes to the ssl pin so if you want to do the ssl pinning as i told you before there are two different way which we can do one is with the help of certificate and another one is with the help of uh, public key so let's go to the public key first uh, like uh, let's see a uh, certificate okay so for that let me open the safari okay so i open the safari you see like i am just making an ap call for this uh, json placeholder so i'm just going over here and copying the things and pasting the things in an uh, ap call so this gets returns a user id and title and completed yes we can able to get this information and you see this the https denotes the locked uh, icon which able which we able to analyze like this particular uh, uh, services uh, https oriented if you click on this uh, uh, locked icon means you can see a, a certificate like if you click on show certificate means you can able to get the detailed information about the certificate like uh, when it's going to expire and what is the trust they are using and what are the different uh, regions they are using and what is the serial number they are using and what is the signature they are using and uh, what is the public key they are using and likewise we have a bunch amount of data which we, we can see in this uh, thing actually like uh, as a mobile developer we don't see this kind of things but uh, this is the uh, very useful when you are uh, doing a server side implementation uh, like if we just want to get this certificate and we have to pin it in our bundle as i said before so to retrieve this certificate you can easily like drag and drop this certificate into the uh, desktop yes oh, i have done multiple time okay so likewise you can get the certificate okay okay so coming to this okay so i got certificate in my uh, bundle so what i what what ssl pinning as will, will do okay let's see that first of all this ssl pinning is going to implement in mobile side alone that is in a client side alone what it's going to do is like this gets a certificate which which i have in our bundle and whether it's check the certificate from the server and the certificate which we are having in a bundle is equal or not if it is equal means it's going to allow our ns url uh, session to get communicate with the server and retrieves a value if the certificate is not equal it, the, the termination has to going to happen between the server and communication and it's going to return error that's very simple so again i'm telling so it's going to check the certificate which is belonging to our bundle and it's going to check the uh, certificate which is coming from the server and it's validate the both the things if they are equal means it's going to allow us proceed further if they are not equal means it's going to terminate at this step alone so this is very simple so i have just got the certificate okay so i have just uh, already i have just uh, took the certificate and added it in the bundle and kept the uh, name as json so let's go to the ser service manager and let's see what this uh, particular uh, delegate method is going to do so here yeah, this is the hero of our uh, video so this is this particular delegate is going to do all our uh, implementation and logics for the things so the delegate name is like url authentication challenge so this is going to actually return uh, uh, whether like uh, what kind of uh, certificate that the server is having so this 
challenge is uh, thing which is going to return the trusted certificate so first we are just checking whether the uh, certificate which is coming from the uh, server it's uh, nil or not in case if it is nil means we are just going to return and just uh, another things we are just going to get the uh, certificate with the help of sec uh, trust get certificate at the index so here we are having the certificate okay so this is uh, belongs to the uh, certificate which is coming from the server and what this the next thing is going to do like we are just just going to add in policies and this challenging hosting is having the policies over here which is belongs to a server certificate and uh, we are just going to evaluate the certificate and is this, is the server is trusted or not this will get a result like uh, true or false and next we got a certificate from the server and it is there and we need to get a certificate from the local machine right so what we are uh, going to do is like uh, this is, uh, belongs to the uh, uh, remote certificate what we are going to do is like next thing we are just going to retrieve the certificate which is belonging in our uh, bundle with the help of bundle.main.path so this we having a uh, path of the certificate which is in a local and next thing we are just going to convert the certificate into the data so this is the part we are go just going to do so in, in left hand side we are having a, a, whether this server is trust or not so in case if it not means it's going to go for else condition and next thing we are just having a, a remote certificate right in the form of ns data so like we are just going to equate whether the certificate which is coming from the remote and the certificate which is coming from the local is equal or not as i told you before we are just going to validate so if it is equal means the completion is going to return is user credential is accepted if it is not means it's going to cancel the authentication challenge so that's a thing it's very easy you know yes so whenever our compiler gets compiled to the data tags instead of going and retrieving the value it's initially check the conditions over here and if it is checked means it's going to return the user uh, credential if it is not means it's going to cancel the things okay so that's a thing so without any delay let, let's run code and validate the thing okay So I'm just uh, run the things and let's see what's going to happen. It's taking some time. Okay, yes. So you see, then uh, output debugger, the certificate pinning is successfully completed, and we can able to retrieve the data. And uh, also, I have just printed a public key is pinning completed successfully message. So all the things we have able to retrieve, and with the help of certificate uh, pinning, we can able to manage the things in a uh, very uh, secure manner, and we can able to um, give more uh, secure uh, uh, layer to our application. So like, so this particular uh, things like which is going to do with the help of certificate pinning certificate pinning okay and or as i told you like there are two different types of uh, pinning is available one is certificate pinning and another one is like public key pin so let me write it down here okay so as same like uh, certificate pinning public key is pinning something different and it is more advisable to do the uh, rather than the certificate pinning we need to do the public uh, public pinning so what this public uh, pinning will do is like it will going to extract the public key from the certificate and it's going to going to compare the the key which is extracted from the public key and the key which is coming from the server so instead of uh, uh, equating or equalizing checking the data of the certificate it's going to check the uh, uh, public key which is going to be like a string but the trickier part is uh, like public key is something different it is not as easier like uh, a certificate pinning and most importantly like uh, whenever a new uh, certificate is uh, implemented in the server side we need to uh, again change the certificate and ne we need to upload the new uh, build to, to the app store then only the certificate pinning works but in terms of like public key pinning it's not like that the public key pinning is going to remain same for the uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, certificates uh, we uh, in the servers changed so whatever certificates the server changes 
the public key is going to remain constant so that's why it is advisable to do the public pinning so uh, if you want the example for doing a public uh, key pinning please just comment the things so that i will uh, prepare an uh, another video for uh, implementation of public pinning okay so like as i told you like uh, if we, if you have done for the ssl pinning uh, we can say like uh, the app is very secure yes but no that's not right like uh, still like uh, we have a security breach even though if we have implemented an uh, ssl pinning uh, this this uh, this is like not uh, more common this is very usual behavior so consider if you have released the app and the app is uh, uh, installed in some like rooted device and if the hacker professional hacker can able to take the uh, uh, source from the um, device and he can able to uh, like uh, change this uh, uh, this particular user credential into an uh, without checking anything and you can be able to return uh, by defaultly but this won't happen in real cases like uh, the things like this which will be taking a more upper hands by the hacker uh, but the things which you want to understand like the ssl pinning is uh, very uh, secure but that's not uh, fully guaranteed as like uh, it is 100% secure so that's the thing which we need to understand but without having anything uh, implementing an uh, ssl pinning is very good so like if you are in a finance uh, developing app it is most important to implement this so that's about the uh, ssl pinning which you need to understand and uh, thank you so much for watching this i will put this uh, particular uh, source code in the github link you can download it and you can uh, work around in that thank you so much for watching this video if you uh, like this video please hit a like button and subscribe for more channel bye bye